Hey you guys, it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. So I'm out here with the dogs and um, quick rundown for everybody who doesn't know. Um, so the dude with the stick, that's Mad Mortigan. He's an import from Europe. The one right there following him, um, that's Jolene. She's an import from Europe. The blue female there, that's Smurf. She's out of um, Batista and Mona. The brindle female right there running behind, that is a female that's out of Velocity and Don Juan. Uh, that covers those guys. Oop, oop, Nirvana, or pff, Blondie. So, sorry, that's Blondie. Um, she's out of, uh, she's a, one of my foundation dogs out of Cashmere and Preacher. Um, then we've got Velocity, the brindle female right there by the um, Great Pyrenees, Newfoundland, uh, who's our livestock guardian. The one with the stick back there, that's Freya. She's out of Hydra and an import from Europe. Um, fawn female here, that's Nirvana. She's out of um, Blondie and um, Achilles, which is an import that my, um, that my uh, partner used to have, my business partner. The one with the stick over there, that's Asia. She's an import um, from Europe. Uh, then we've got the natural ears and tail. That's Kona. People have been asking me why I chose to keep her natural. I didn't. She came that way. Um, Brindle dog here. This is Kimchi. Kimchi is out of Nirvana and Mad Mortigan. Uh, pink collar behind. That's Idra. She's an um, import from Europe. And old man preacher. Preacher! He's a preacher man. Um, he's one of my foundation males. Um, and then, um, and then we've got Mona over here and Mad Mortigan checking her out. Mona, sweet baby Mona. There's my Mona. Did you guys? She's so funny. She's so so funny. Um, Vienna is should be here somewhere, but I don't know where she's at. I guess she's hiding. Um, not really sure. It's kind of odd. Um, maybe she's in the... She may not like my wax stick. The sound of my wax stick. I don't know. She's not the most... Like, I don't know. I've, I've given her some time. I've actually had her out. A uh, mentor of mine said that when you have a dog that maybe isn't the most confident to do the out... Like, to have them... Um, you know, out, um, and so that's what I've been doing. Don't mind me, I'm gonna sit in my mower. <sighs> oh, it's nice to sit down. Anyway, Vienna! Um, so I've been having her out here, um, and she seemed, um, to be doing better. She was kind of coming out and greeting me and stuff like that, but, um, Anyway, I'm not. I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm. I'm not filming correctly. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna use her or not. I like her. I like her structure. I like her movement. Um, but I don't like how she wants nothing to do with the pack. Um, I will say that Brindle female didn't either. But I brought her out, and she's fine. She's not hiding away. Carrie, um, I didn't bring out. She, oh, she's pretty drivey, and um, and the other day I just noticed that the that the the pack energy was was dangerously high, and I did not like that. With the, with these kinds of situations, it's kind of like a powder keg. You really got to be careful, and you can't have any dog that's going to jeopardize the um, the peace. Um, and tranquility, and that's exactly what she was trying to do, so, um, I had to manage that. So, here we got, they're all playing with a stick over here. I'm doing good, nobody's, nobody's out of line. Y'all need to quiet down! That's Ibiza. Ibiza, hush it up! Can I help you? 
What? Don't pee on my mower either. It's not supposed to be out here. I'm gonna move it. Hmm. Kimchi, sweet baby. Well, we got Jolene trying to be, but she has really grown um, since I wormed her. She's already done her second dose. There she is. She's like, you can't have it. Oh, Asia's like, guess I can. Oh, here comes Blondie. Blondie's like, I won't even take the stick. She's like, I'll put you down. <clears throat> Blondie has it. Jolene won't give it up. Oh, wow. Jolene is tough. Oh, there you go. So, Blondie is off of Cashmere, and Cashmere was the original... Um, I would say like dominant the like queen of the of the kennel. Now I have a bunch of older females, a bunch of dogs that are here that that are not willing to um to just, you know, accept the rule of Blondie, but every now and then you will see Blondie try to assert herself like that. Especially with a puppy. Puppy thought she was tough, thought she was going to be running around with the stick and doing what she wanted to do and whatever, and and Bondi was like, eh, you ain't, you ain't that fast, you ain't that tough. Oh, look at that. So there's a little bit of communication there between Blondi and Mona. You can see Mona moving away. Tail up, though, communicating. She's like, I ain't no punk, I'm your huckleberry. Here we go. Look at that stiff. See, see how it see the see the eye, head goes up. She gives her that look. Ear, the tail's up. Now she's smelling Blondie. Blondie's ignoring because when you're the dominant dog and or you feel that you're dominant, you ignore other dogs. And and the way, you know, the reason that that communicates that you're um, above them is that it's like basically like she don't even matter. Like I ain't worried about you. You ain't about to do nothing. Oh look at that. Blondie did a whole leg lift. So sometimes females will do that when they're really dominant. They'll start to actually lift their leg when they pee. And then you have um, Mona who just did a pee as well. Now we've got a moment between Velocity and Blondie. You can see Blondie trying to assert herself. Velocity's like, whatever. I ain't got time for this. Walked away. And I'm not surprised that Blondie's the one who's going around trying to assert herself. That's very, very, very common. That would be expected. So. Oh, look at her trying to play with her dad. There's Preacher. Look at her trying to be like a puppy, play with him. Oh my god, that's so funny. He's like, get out of my face, woman. You're not a baby. Hmm. I think I might see Vienna back there. There she is. All right. I had a feeling that she might come out um, once things settle down a little bit. That her curiosity might get the best of her. Look at him. He does not know what to do. Hydra. Come here, girl. Good girl. So I, I called her because she was trying to show Vienna some dominance. Which is not okay. Which is okay. Vienna, good girl. Good baby. Good baby. Velocity, no. You will leave her alone. And she goes to pee. She's being submissive. 
Velocity should know all about that. Okay, all right, there we go. I want to make sure that nobody's too dominant on her. Hydra, out! Um, prevent thus preventing her from uh, from wanting to kind of rejoin. Good girl, Vienna. Good girl. Good girl. Hold on, she's directly behind me, and I can't film her anymore. I was twisting my neck around. Here we go. Good girl, Vienna. What a good girl. What a good girl. Juju baby girl. So when she pees, I won't pet her. Go away. Kimchi. Ain't nobody talking to you. Go away. No, you go away. I love you too. Go away. So that's a Mona baby. Um, Vienna. Mona knows it. That tail is a wagon. She's like, that's my chow. She's a good sized female. Um... I will say I prefer a wider head, but you know, it is what it is in this breed. Look at that movement on kimchi. Ooh, hold on, let me back up a little bit. Yeah. She's she's fully recovered now. Her skin is completely good to go. Um, only had to shampoo her maybe four or five times with that stuff over like two weeks. And then she was totally fine. Really happy about it. It's a much nicer day today. It's not so hot. Um, so we can, the dogs are able to have a little bit more fun. So that's um, Roxy out there. Now to put this into perspective of how big um, Smurf is, which is the blue girl. Smurf is like, I think she's four or five months old. Um, and Roxy is like seven months old. So, um, she's huge. Smurf is a huge dog. Really big dog. All right, that's enough, Blondie. Now the reason I want to get onto her is because Blondie is because that level of energy and her showboating like that will cause other dogs um, to get in to get. You see how the energy's starting to come up a little bit? At Blondie, cut it out! Come here! Stop trying to cause problems. You quit it. You keep the energy low, Blondie. Blondie, I said cut it out. So she wants to go around and start trying to dominate everybody and that's not happening. She's not about not about to cause chaos here. Blondie, I said no. Leave it. Now it's Jolene doing it. Blondie, leave it. I worry less about the other dogs with the toy than I do Blondie because Blondie's going to want to really make a sound about it because she is, you know, she sees herself as the dominant one. So she's, she's going to just make a bunch of racket. The other ones, they can, they can have moments like this and it'll stay more benign, but Blondie is going to take it too far. Get loud. Blondie, come here now. And then that's going to cause Blondie. I said, come here now. Um, and that's going to cause all the other dogs to get too involved. Come here. As soon as I start talking to y'all, she stops walking over here. Now, Blondie. Come here. You. Quit trying to cause problems. It's not about you. This is not your pack. See, as soon as I got onto her, things chilled out. She's over here trying to, as they say, stir the pot. Literally stir, stir the pack of dogs. Tilly, come out. Tilly! 
was thinking about messing with Hydra again. So those are my guineas. So I'm going to be honest with you. I actually really like the sounds of guineas. I just like... There's something... It's like music. There's something about having all the different animals and things. And it's just like music to me. Especially um, whenever they start doing their call. That's like a warning. Ah, ah, ah! Smurf! Don't you dare. I saw you trying to sneak out. You don't do that. She's like, why? I'm small enough to. Smurf. What you doing, girl? What do we got going on over here? Velocity. We got was that Asia? This Corso soup over here. So many dogs. Wonder if, okay, yeah, she's still out here. Good. Vienna's still out here. Good, there she is, just watching from the outside. She don't she don't want nothing to do with the pack right now. Can I help you? Oh, Jolene tried to take Asia's stick. Asia was like, girl, don't even try it. Jolene, what you doing? Jolene, what you doing? Jolene, sweet baby Jolene, sweet baby Jolene, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, Jolene? Oh my God, kimchi, really jealous again? There you are. If I talk to anybody else, look at her. She's like, don't, don't talk to nobody. Oh, here we have a moment between... Hey, 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 Blondie! Blondie! God bless you. All right, so I got that handled. Um, it wasn't a fight. Blondie was dominating Asia. And I was very afraid that Asia wasn't going to tolerate it, but she did. As you can see, she's fine. But there was absolutely no reason for that. As I told you guys before... Blondie is absolutely the one who is trying to cause problems. Um, I gave her a correction. I doubt she'll do it again. <clears throat> We're going to continue with our video. Because I'm not <clears throat> going to... Um, Allow Blondie to control this situation. What we do. She's going to accept being here. And not getting to dominate. Don't know why she didn't listen to me. But um, she'll listen now. You can see she's giving me lots of eye contact right now. Um, it's because she knows that she messed up. Whereas earlier, whenever I was trying to talk to her, she wasn't listening. She barely gave me eye contact. And um, now she's listening, so... 
Um, Asia's fine. Like I said, it wasn't a fight. Asia wasn't, um, Asia was submitting to her. I don't know why Blondie was taking it that far. Um, it was definitely inappropriate. There was no need for it. And, um, and so, you know, I think that Blondie is really trying to, um, I think she's trying to become the alpha of all of these dogs. And, um, and so she's trying to do it with overwhelming aggression. So basically when a dog is down, so that facial expression she just had, I want her in a more submissive state of mind. I like this wax stick. It's good. Um, it's very, um, it's very effective with just the sound. That's all you got to do is just smack it and, and it works. Um, and so anyway, so I want her to be very submissive. Anything beyond ultra submission, if she even gives, like you just saw there, an eyebrow, I'm going to be on her like white on rice. And, um... I know. Did she get you? Was she dominating you? Yes, she was. And you did not deserve that. You're a sweet baby. You're a sweet baby. I know. Yes, you are. She didn't hurt your pretty face, though. She didn't hurt your pretty face. Sweet baby, Asia. You're a good baby. You're a good baby. I got you back. I got you back. You were bad, Blondie. You were a bad dog. Sorry, I couldn't film it for you. She wouldn't... <clears throat> I had to stop the video because she literally would not... Um, she would not get off of her. She was just... Asia was like laying down on her back. And Blondie was just really like not... I don't think like... Um, I don't think she was like legitimately trying to start a fight, but she was definitely trying to dominate Asia. Um, more like she would a puppy or something, like in the sense that she wanted complete and utter submission, like the dog to lay there and cower in fear. And it's not going to happen with a dog like Asia. Um, she was mouthing back, I believe. I'll have to re-watch it. But, um, but point being that she was not about to... <clears throat> act the way a puppy does and the reality is is that Blondie will not be able to 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 take over this pack like that it's not going to happen these are all there are many autonomous dogs in here um I would say Asia put up with it but she by no means did what a puppy would do by like cowering in fear or anything like that sorry the um thing for my uh, mower is there and um and Mona absolutely won't tolerate it Mona Mona would would do her very best to tear Blondie up and may very well do it because she's got a good 20 pounds over over Blondie and so um, Blondie is not the biggest dog here she doesn't really have the ability um, to um, assert herself in that way and it's not her it's not her job to do so it's this is my pack and um, and I I demand respect out of everybody and if there is not respect there are consequences and Blondie um, got a reminder of that today. And as you can see, now all she wants to do is give me attention, stay by me. She's doing everything she can to try to get back in my good graces. And, um, and right now, instead of being like, even though she's coming to me and even though she's looking at me and even though I can tell that she's like, like, see how she keeps looking at me, she's trying to be a satellite to be around me. And what she really wants is she wants me to, like, forgive her. She wants me to let her know that she's fine. But I'm not going to do that because as the dominant one, I'm not going to give her that. She wouldn't do it for another dog, and I'm not going to do it for her. Um, I'm going to ignore her like an alpha would. Let her know that I'm watching her. As you can see, Asia's walking by. And um, she's not even looking at her. And so... Um, but you know, I'm like I'm like Rip in Yellowstone. No fighting on the ranch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, no fighting on the ranch. So, um, you know, you want to fight, you got to get through me first. And and I promise you, 
ain't now big not 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 a single dog out here big enough to get through me and I may only be five foot tall five foot four but that doesn't matter because it's my energy that I project you know I might as well be a giant to these dogs you know and it's all about the energy that I project and there's this one guy there's this documentary on um, this guy that used to rehabilitate lions in Africa, and I'm not talking about Kevin Richardson, I'm talking about the very old movie, um, and I think these were wild lions that he would um, rehabilitate. And one of his um, assistants ran from a lion one time and was able to get away, get into a truck, but it was a really scary moment. And the guy told him, he said, you never run from a lion, not ever. He said, you'd be much better off charging the lion than you would running from it. And so, um, you know, you, it's, it's, dogs are the same way. You really are better off uh, if you have a, an aggressive dog, charging that dog, making it think that you are no victim, you are no prey item. You know what I mean? Blondie! I don't want her sizing anybody up. Not even her own daughter. Her punishment is that she doesn't get to dominate nobody right now. Not a single dog. She don't get to... She has to be humble AF right now. That's the only way that I will accept her behavior. And she will not be in trouble. Is if she is so humble that I forget she's even here. I want her knowing that I'm watching her every move. I'm watching every little octave of energy that she's got and if it gets a higher than what I want I'm gonna smack this stick down on the ground and let her know that I'm watching her you're fine I love you you're sweet baby I'm not talking to you now some people would say why are you being mean to her because I need her to know that when I say something I mean it that's why consistency I'm making very steady eye contact with her, very threatening eye contact, which for a dog is steady eye contact. It's it's just completely um, just watching without stopping, just steady, steady eye contact, staring directly in the eyes. And um, I have, I'm a mother, so I have what they call the look. And I just I just give her the look and I just let her know. And as you can see, she's staying over here by me, wagging the tail. As you can see, looking at me, wagging her tail. She's like, I'm good. It's like, yeah, well, if you were good, we wouldn't be talking about you right now. And she'll be in trouble like this for a while until I decide. Um, and even after that, I will continue to monitor her and watch her. Um, now that I know that she's... I mean, I knew she was trying to stir up a little bit of trouble but I didn't figure it was um I honestly was not I was not expecting what she did so that's for sure but anyway but I'm gonna stay out here for a while I'm not gonna film because it's I feel like this has been long enough but um but I'm gonna stay out here and kind of work with these guys myself and mm, you see that you see how she just so before she even interacted with him, she looked at me. And that's what that's how you know that your dog respects you. Um, is by um, is by the eye contact that you get. A dog that respects you is gonna give you a lot of eye contact. Sweet baby Asia, you're fine. You're fine, Asia. You're fine, sweet baby. You're baby girl, you sweet baby. You're sweet baby. Yeah, and you see, she wants that attention. She wishes. See that? See, she looks at me. She looked at Asia. She's like, "Yeah." See there? She looked at her again. <clears throat> She's mad that I'm giving Asia attention, but it is what it is. She's just gonna have to get over it. So anyway. So I hope y'all are having a good day. And I'll talk at you later. Bye.
Okay, so before I end this, even though I technically just ended it, I rewatched the end of the other video, so I saw what happened. So, what happened was that Blondie was trying to dominate Asia, and Asia didn't like it, and so Asia's the one who popped up at Blondie, and then Blondie um, dropped down on her and started trying to do a bunch of mouth biting, a bunch of noise, stuff like that. Now, um, like I said to you guys, it's exactly why I said she's not allowed to do that, because Asia... You know, Asia did tolerate it after she started. I think it's because maybe she heard me. I don't know. Um, but that's exactly what will happen. And these dogs are not going to respect Blondie as the alpha. They are going to fight back. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. Blondie's lucky that Asia did not decide to actually fight her. Because Asia's actually quite a bit larger than Blondie. Um, and could probably um, 100%, you know... Um, take Blondie out. And the, and the biggest issue of it all on top of that is that there's a lot of dogs out here. And so Blondie cannot be acting a fool because it could literally cause, you know, like the equivalent of a riot here. So everyone's got to stay chill. Everyone's got to stay calm. Um, people were wondering why I didn't have Blondie out originally. That's why Blondie thinks that she's the boss. She was the boss for a long time. She's um, dogs are typically not willing to lose rank if they've had it, and, um, so I'm doing some nonverbal corrections right now to Blondie. Here you have Mona, tail up, letting her know. Um... But yeah, Blondie does not want to give up her position. She wants to be a dominant dog here. The dominant dog here. Not going to happen. Um, and um, and so she's going to have to learn that. And that's why I didn't want her out initially. Because I wanted everybody to kind of get used to being out here. And, and, and there be um, calmness before <clears throat> I bring out a dog that is not going to... Um, probably respect the, the pack that I've kind of orchestrated here as far as a bunch of individuals, right? She wants it to be like it was, where she's the leader and everybody listens to her. But that's not going to happen. And I'm glad that I was able to manage it and that it didn't get out of hand. And I think it only did that because I've spent so much time with the rest of these dogs on an individual basis and on, um, and on a pack basis with them all being out here. Um, and they all kind of know that they're not to get too engaged in all this stuff. Um, and luckily they did. They stayed out of it. And I was very happy about that. So. So anyway. But yeah, just wanted to um, kind of add that little tidbit in that, you know, this is exactly why you don't let dogs work things out on their own. People have always said to me, well, why don't you just let them work it out on their own? Because they'd kill each other. That's why. So, um dogs don't believe in in um a republic um or even like per se a democracy so all righty bye